Let's quickly take a look at how to set the ISO on a D700. Now there's two different ways of doing this. As ISO is something we're changing all the time, there is a shortcut button available to us and this is located right next to the command dial. So if you were to use your index finger, pull it slightly back towards the prism and press this down, you'll see we enter the ISO menu. Now there's a couple of different options available, everything from auto through 100 all the way through to 12,800 ISO. The second way of doing this is by pressing the Q button on the back of the camera and once again this highlights the ISO and from here once again we can set the ISO that we choose. Let's quickly take a look at a couple of different drive modes that are available on this particular camera. Now there's two different ways of setting this. The one is by pushing the Q menu and scrolling to this icon over here. Again this icon may be different depending on what you have preset in the camera. And let's take a look at what these different options are. The first option is single shooting, so if I t press the shutter button down it will take one photograph. The second option is continuous shooting, so if I hold the shutter button down it will keep taking photographs. The third option is a self timer with the remote, so if I push this, the remote this, the camera will then start counting down and then only take a photograph. The fourth option is just normal self timer, so if I was to put the camera on a tripod, push the button it will then count down and take a photograph after two seconds. The fifth option is continuous self-timer. So here what I can do is I can set, by pushing up and down, I can set exactly how many images the camera will capture in a row. So if I was to set that to seven, it'll count down, and then it'll take seven images in a row. The alternate way of setting this up is by pushing the icon just left of the set button. Here we access exactly the same menu, it's just a bit of a shorter way of actually getting to it. Over the next few minutes I quickly want to go through picture styles. Now these are essentially ways of changing colour and contrast and the most apparent would be something like a black and white where essentially it's getting rid of all colour saturation but there's many other options available as well. Now there's two different ways of doing this. The One is to use the menu option and to access it from there and I'll go through that in a second but I'd like to just also mention the shortcut which is available off the back of the camera. This can be identified by taking a look at the icon which almost looks like a flat disk of five different squares. If you press this button you'll see you immediately access the picture style menu. What you have is by default you have eight different options available. You have auto, standard, portrait, landscape, neutral, faithful, monochrome and then three user defined options available as well. Should you choose to set certain options available within these what you can do is press info and this will allow you to set sharpness, contrast, saturation and color tone. The alternate way of doing this is by pressing menu and once again you can access the picture style and you'll see here those same options are available. Should you choose to alter one of these once again you can just push info and here once again you'll see that you can set different values. The way that you do this is by pressing the set button in the middle and using the command jog at the back left and right in order to set different values. Once you're happy with these just push menu once again and you'll see it's now set those particular parameters for you. As white balance is something we change quite often there's two different ways of doing this and there's shortcuts for both. The first way is to push the Q button and to scroll through to the icon over here. If we press that in using select button you'll see we have auto white balance Daylight, Shade, Cloudy, Tungsten, Fluorescent, Flash and a custom white option as well. The alternate way of doing this is by pressing the WB button located directly above the set button on the back of the camera and here we will see those same options available to us as well. 